Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Adam Cellini. Topping our news tonight, a pet groomer with more than five decades of experience is now being accused of harming her client's animals. The owner of Happy, Pe uh, Happy Puppy Pet Spa in Venice says she is at the center of multiple investigations by the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office after a recent video surfaced on social media. ABC 7's Erica Jackson joins us live from Venice to explain what one pet owner believes happened behind closed doors and how she is taking action. Erica. Good evening, Adam. The Happy Puppy Pet Spa has been open for the last six years, but just a couple days ago, a now former employee caught the owner's aggressive behavior toward one animal on camera. And we must warn you, this video may be hard to watch. This video taken on Friday at the Happy Puppy Pet Spa in Venice has been seen by nearly 200,000 people on Facebook. I wasn't surprised. I was out of my mind. Cynthia Crow believes this video is a very a small piece of a larger puzzle. Okay to... Just two weeks earlier, she picked up her dog Pumpkin from the Happy Puppy Pet Spa to learn he suffered a broken jaw, abdominal bruising, and damage to his ears while at the groomers. I'm suffering thinking of what she could have been doing to my dog and what she did to my dog, and I didn't. I didn't see that. I do not hurt animals. I, I love them. The spa's owner, Phyllis Luca, says she has never intentionally hurt a dog in her 54 years of pet grooming. She says Pumpkin was fine when she finished his grooming. She came back 10 minutes later to find the injured Yorkie Poo. Luca says the dog in the video, Bridget, passed out because she was stressed while getting groomed. I'm not choking the dog. I'm just holding her head while I... You just do a fast snap and she comes right back. The pet spa's phone is ringing off the hook with messages from animal rights activists from across the country. I hope somebody does to you what you did to that dog. Luca says she is now the subject of two investigations by the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office. One after Crow made a statement about Pumpkin's condition and another against a former employee who took this video. I don't want to see that again because I can't stand to see it choking the dog. Crow says Pumpkin can't open his mouth to eat, bark or yawn because it will be closed in a muzzle for the next 8 to 12 weeks. She wants this to be a lesson for other pet owners to do extensive research before choosing a groomer. He's never ever going to a groomer. I'm going to learn how to groom him now. A local veterinarian it so says it's okay to moderately shake an unconscious dog while performing CPR, but vigorously shaking the dog can hurt the animal. And we reached out to the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office for more information about the open cases, but it cannot be reached on a Sunday. Reporting in Venice, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.